probably be there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's if they're working out for them to pay. Very much. Very difficult. Definitely. I think it's, of course, every, well, I guess I better pay attention to what I'm doing here. All right. Well, welcome. Welcome. It's good to have uh, anyone who's joining us on Facebook with us. And my brother Dave Vario is with us. I'm so thankful to have you here, brother Dave. And uh, it's good to be back from the, the CAP Mission Project down in uh, McCreary County, Kentucky. Hey, there's Miss Denise. Good to see you, Denise. And uh, McCreary County, Kentucky is probably one of the poorest counties in America. And uh, we were thankful to be able to work on a building for them that will be used uh, for food distribution. So uh, glad to be back home. Good to be back. I uh, hope you enjoyed your uh, hours of extra sleep on uh, Sunday. And to pay for it, you get uh, the sun goes down earlier. and <laughs> It gets dark about five o'clock. So. You do uh, hear Awana in the background, and there's some screaming going on. Uh, we just hope that those are screams of joy. There's Roger and Flo. Thankful to have you guys on. All right, just a, a couple of announcements. Uh, looking through the uh, the newsletter. Uh, first of all, tomorrow, tomorrow is November the 11th. It's Veterans Day. And so we want to thank the Lord for our veterans. We have many in our church. Roger's one of them. Uh, he was a Navy man, and uh, so uh, thank the Lord for uh, our uh, our veterans. And, uh, you know, uh, Brother Glenn Tabler always puts the flags up outside, uh, you know, at, at uh, patriotic holidays. He did that this past weekend, so uh, mm -hmm. thankful for Glenn. Uh, it's a real uh, a real blessing to see those flags flying. Uh, let, let me see. Um, Christmas cantata practice is after church on Sunday mornings, and we're, we're doing a, a great uh, cantata, excited about that, and uh, looking forward to some practice this coming Sunday. And then on Friday, November the 19th, we will have a movie night, and uh, starting at uh, 6 o'clock, we'll share some hot dogs, and then uh, we'll be looking at a movie called Holes, H-O-L-E-S. So I uh, hope that's a blessing to you. Yay. And, yeah. Do you know that movie? Oh, yeah. I oh. love movie night. What's that? I love movie Amen. night. Amen. All Holes right. Holes is a good movie. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. And uh, in the foyer, if you notice when you come on Sunday, there is a, uh, a tree with gift tags representing family members uh, from the Greater Urbana Food Bank. And uh, each uh, tag has a gift idea, family member, and a number. So take a tag. To support those in need and, and to bless them at Christmas. We're also, I think, collecting for Operation Christmas Child. I believe we're taking up those things uh, this coming Sunday. So uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you have those things, uh, bring them on Sunday in a shoebox uh, as was instructed. Uh, men's groups back on. Uh, we're, uh, we're Sunday morning, uh, 8 o'clock, men's group. Uh, Pancakes Prayer and uh, led by Brother Ed Taylor does a great job. So uh, hope you, if you're in that group, come on out and join us. And then on Sunday night we have another group studying First and Second Peter uh, out in the portable building. Uh, I'd love to have you guys join us for that. Ladies Bible study on Tuesdays led by Stephanie Crop doing a great job, and play group led by Robin Murphy meets on Tuesdays at 10:30. And you have to. Get in touch with Miss Robin to find out where that meets. It's a different place every week. We can still use help in Awana. I heard from a young lady today that says she's going to start helping in Awana. 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 <laughs> and uh, so looking forward to uh, integrating her into uh, the program. I'm thankful we got some uh, some new blood back there in the in the video booth. Yeah. And uh, thankful for that. And uh, Brother Bill, I think, is him. Yeah. Bill, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, a hand. Let's uh, let's let's pray for some more. Yeah, we could need, need a couple more. Need a couple more. Need a couple more. So, uh, come and join us. You don't have to be uh, technically savvy. Just be willing, and we'll we'll do the rest. And uh, love to have you connect there. Uh, Smydeck is going on. Thankful for Smydeck, and uh, they've got some special things coming up soon. Uh, and I don't know what they are, but I'm sure it's great. 
oh, I think they call it Friendsgiving. I'm not sure when that is, but anyway, I see the SMIDEC leadership for that information. All right, that's it uh, on the announcements. Now, our um, devote, what are we going to sing? we got to sing. I almost forgot to sing. Shocking. Shocking, I know. <laughs> uh, we're going to sing the old rugged cross. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. In the old rugged cross, stained with blood so divine, a wondrous beauty I see. For twas on that old cross, Jesus suffered and died to pardon and sanctify me. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. All right. Thank you. Good singing, Brother Dave. Appreciate you being here and helping me with that. Uh, our devotion uh, tonight comes from 1 Chronicles chapter 16. 1 Chronicles chapter 16. Now, we just entered the uh, the month of November. And, well, today is November the 10th. This we're a third of the way through the month of November. <laughs> but I love the month of November. It's, a, it's about Thanksgiving. And it's my favorite holiday, and really I love this time of year. Thinking about giving thanks, uh, we have reason for which to be thankful every day of every month of every year. Amen. And uh, there's a song, I didn't put it on the song sheet, but uh, it says, When upon life's billows you're a tempest tossed, when you're discouraged thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, every doubt will fly Count your many blessings as the day goes by. So count your blessings. So one of my prayers for me is always that the Lord would increase my sensitivity to God's blessings. And, uh, you know, we, should, we can see him in small things and large things. And uh, so, uh, you know, uh, think about the, time, the things that happened today or this week and, and see God's hand of blessing. And... Uh, Increase sensitivity to what God is doing. Where is he working? What is he saying? Who is God using? How is he guiding? How is he protecting you? You know, we don't, it's amazing how God uh, orders our life and protects us and circumstances, people, and things uh, can be used by God to, uh, to bring his blessings. So uh, I would ask myself and Brother Dave and all of you listening, can we see the hand of God, even in times that are troubled. And uh, so I hope especially you can. Especially in times. Especially. Amen. I like the way you said it. Especially in times of trouble. That's right. Amen. So uh, so First Chronicles 16. Uh, you know, uh, one of the, the greatest events in David's uh, in history of, of David being the king of Israel is moving the tabernacle to Jerusalem. Right, the, you remember the first time they were going to move it, they didn't move it in the right way, and and the, it 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 fell off the ox cart, and the, uh, Uzzah, I think the guy's name was Uzzah, reached out to steady it, and zap, zap, he was gone, he was gone, and uh, 
uh, it's because they did not respect God's way of doing things. And, and, and uh, well, we need to be sensitive to that. Mm -hmm. At any rate, in 1 Kings 16, uh, David uh, arranges uh, the right transportation, which is uh, uh, the Levites, and, and uh, to carry the tabernacle uh, to Jerusalem. He put it before he built uh, the, uh, well, he didn't build it, Solomon built the temple. David wanted to build uh, uh, a temple for God. And uh, of course, that God said, no, uh, you know, you've shed too much blood. And uh, so Solomon, David's son, finally uh, built the temple from material that David amassed for that project. But before that happened, uh, David oversaw as the king the bringing of the tabernacle, the place where God met with his people to Jerusalem and set it up under a, a covering there. And when he did so, uh, he presented this uh, psalm uh, to, uh, uh, he's, uh, the scripture says, to Asaph and his brother, uh, to, uh, to the priests. He presented this psalm. And really, this is really a compilation of Psalm 96 and maybe 106. But it's a very interesting psalm, and it's really about thanksgiving. So I just thought we'd read that, and if you might have comments, Brother Dave, uh, uh, about it. We, we'll uh would love to receive those. Psalm what? First Chronicles. It's, it's a psalm that's found in First Chronicles, oh. chapter 16, <laughs> verse 7. We're going to start in verse 7. The scripture says, On that day, David first delivered this psalm into the hand of Asaph and his brethren to thank the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him. Sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his name. Let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and all his strength, or and his strength. Seek his face forevermore. Remember his marvelous works which he has done his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O seed of Israel, his servant, you children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord, his judgments are in all the earth. Remember his covenant forever. The word which he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant which he made with Abraham, his oath to Isaac and confirmed it to Jacob for a statute to Israel for an everlasting covenant saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan as allotment for your inheritance. When you were few in number, indeed very few, and strangers in it, when they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, he permitted no man to do them wrong. Yes, he rebuked kings for their sake, saying, Do not touch my anointed ones, and do my prophets no harm. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is also to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of the people are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and gladness are in his place. Give to the Lord, O families of the peoples, give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord the glory to his name. Bring an offering and come before him. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. The world also is firmly established. It shall not be moved. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. And let them say among the nations, the Lord's reigns, the Lord reigns. Let the sea roar in all of its fullness and let the field rejoice in all that is in it. Then the trees of the woods shall rejoice before the Lord for he is coming to judge the earth. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His mercy endures forever. And say, save us, O God of our salvation. Gather us together and deliver us from the Gentiles to give thanks to your holy name, to triumph in your praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. 
And all the people said, Amen. And praise the Lord. I just love that that psalm. And what, when I was going through that, I was just thinking about the verbs in there uh, as instructions for praise. You know, uh, uh, he said, uh, make known his deeds among the people. Sing to him. Sing psalms to him. Talk of his wondrous works. You know, that's kind of a testimony. You know, just give a testimony to God and and, and what he's doing and, and how he's blessed you and how and how he's leading you and how he's protected you and how he's sheltered you. So, you know, when uh, there, there's a psalm that says, I don't know where it is right now, it says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, right? So uh, one of the great things we can do is testify. And uh, one thing that's irrefutable is your testimony. What has God done for you? Uh, people want to argue sometimes <laughs> about different things, but you know, when, when we testify as to what God has done for us, uh, that's, a, that's irrefutable. You know, you, you may disagree on how that blessing came, but that blessing came to you. So sing to him, talk of his wonder works, glory in his holy name. Let, let, the, let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek his face, seek his strength. Remember his marvelous works which he has done. Remember his covenant forever. Uh, then it, sing to the Lord, proclaim the good news, declare his glory, and then give to the Lord. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord the glory to his name. Bring an offering. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before him. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His mercy endures forever. So the, the heart of thanksgiving, when we think about being thankful and seeing what God has done for us, uh, it causes things like praise. You know, I always say praise the Lord. Uh, you know, praise God for the things he has done, even the small things. Uh, to shout to the Lord. I always think of Brother Glenn when I think about shouting. You know, uh, he's, uh, and there, uh, there's a, one phrase in there that I thought about him when I was reading it. Uh, I think it's something about let the earth be glad, you know. And that sounds like one of the songs that Brother Glenn sings. So singing is, is, a, is a form of praise. And it doesn't matter if you can carry a tune in a bucket, right? It just, it's open up your heart. So, so make a joyful noise. In the Amen. Make a joyful noise. A friend of mine said, well, I'll sing by letter. I said, what do you mean sing by letter? He said, open up and let her fly. <laughs> you know, so just, just, uh, man, I love it. Uh, and you know I love it. So, uh all these things are a part of worship. Giving, you know, the Lord loves a, a cheerful giver, right? To, to give cheerfully uh, out of the abundance, you know, that God has given to us. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a matter of, uh, to me, it's not a matter of, uh, of what the law says. It's a matter of where your heart is, you know, when you, when you give to the Lord. Uh, testimony, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Have confidence in God's provision. I love that. Any comments about about this psalm? Anything strike you, Brother David? Oh, yeah, my goodness. I, I, I just the, the history of this psalm is so rich that when you realize what this psalm, this praise is coming out of, you know, David originally tried to bring, as you said, he tried to bring the ark up in, in, a, in a way that he thought was right. And it ended up with the death of Uzzah, and that reflected on the king, and he left that ark in Obedian's house for, was it 10 years, right. 15 years, something? It was a yeah. long time. Right. And because he was afraid to bring the ark of the covenant up, up to uh, Jerusalem at that point. And, and, and there's an analogy there for how we naturally, in our flesh, deal with disappointment with God. Because we, we think we know how God should do things, and and when it doesn't happen the way we think, we end up we can become bitter. We can blame God. We can you know that you know God needed to change. You know right. that's the problem. Right. I had it right, God. Right. Just, you know I, this was it was a brand new cart. And you, right. You know that's I, right. I did all I could. You know, and and so we we blame God. And and when you see that it took David ten years to go through this, and in the end we we see uh, this is a pattern for us to follow. Why did he praise God? Well, he moved through the, the difficult uh, lesson that, that we need to also move through at times when this happens to us. 
that when we face a disappointment, when God doesn't do things the way we expect, and, Amen. and, and we wonder, are you out there, God? Amen. We have to understand that His plans are better than our plans, and sometimes we can't understand them. And and what we need to do in order to receive the blessing from the Lord is do as David did. Amen. And to honor God and recognize, you know, first and foremost, uh, Jesus, when he taught us to pray, he said, hallowed, you know, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be your name. name. We have to, you know, the first thing we have to do as Christians is to honor God. You are God. I'm not. Amen. I'm going to praise you. Amen. And that opens the doors for the, uh, you know, as the, the apostles found, you know, that the, uh, the chains would just fly off. Right, you know that's right. that's the uh, the attitude that uh, that David exemplified there. Right, is astonishing to me. It is. He didn't have the Holy Spirit. Right, that's and right. It, it just is astonishing to me how right. a man could could be like that. And so, you know, I can understand why God called him a man out of his, after his own heart. Amen. And, Amen. And just stuff like this is just. It just moves me. Amen. Know, just, oh, wow. I, I want that. I, yeah, know. yeah, yeah. And this is, like you said, a long time. Maybe 10 years had passed. Yeah. And and now he's coming. He's revisiting the scene. And he's uh, he's uh, he's doing it the way. Uh, uh, he goes back <coughs> to the scripture. Go back to the scripture. He and so he, he probably himself. researched that. Right. And, and found the... Uh, the uh, uh, the Levites and said, "Let's let's find out how to do this, so you can you can kind of feel David's exuberance. Hey, you know this yeah. is uh, this plan has been corrected, right. and this I know plan, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> right, I'm be blessed I know how I did it wrong. That's right, right, and and I love that he just didn't give up. He, he didn't give he, up. Amen. He, he wanted the Lord with him, right, and so that's you know." That's what he. That's what he did. He persisted and did it God's way. And, and I think that, you know, our thinking is human and it's flawed. And and the only thing that is true is the Word of God. Amen. Uh, and that whenever we try and do something that is not in alignment, even Amen. in ignorance. Amen. We have the best of intentions. <laughs> sure. But even if it's in ignorance, it doesn't matter. God can't be mocked. We're, right. We're going to reap what we sow, and and that works both ways. Mm -hmm. if, if you sow what's good. Good. Amen. That's right, and that's all through the scriptures. You see that Amen. over and over again in the scriptures, and it's a very it, deep principle. It's right, excellent, absolutely. You know, Jesus Himself said, "Not my will, but Your will be done." Yeah, and He yielded to that because that was God's plan. And so, yeah. Amen. So, this it's never too late to go back and get something right. It's never, that's right. It's never too late to 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 do it God's way. And, uh, you know, as long as we have breath, as long as, uh, uh, you know, we have strength and we can, you know, if we've started out something wrong and not God's way and, and, and we've seen his hand, uh, you know, uh, turning against that, it's never too late to stop, look in God's word and find out what his word says about it and be obedient to that. Right. I love that. And we are going to be disappointed with God. Right. Because we're sinners. Right. And he's absolutely perfect and and so we lead ourselves astray amen and uh the only way that david could have lost was if he he stayed in bitterness and he just said well i'm not gonna have to do with god anymore i'm gonna I'll, I'll serve Baal. or you know right right that would have been you know, what a horrible consequence that would have had for david and israel and us and us right so uh you know, you know that's uh i think there's just it's just a very rich passage with so much in it. No, oh, there is. It's just tremendous. And, and it, David was so exuberant that he danced before the Lord. And, uh, you know, his wife, which was Saul's daughter, uh, she she think, thought he was, uh, wasn't was very kingly was in the marriage. Yeah, she, he was in, she was embarrassed. and uh, But he was praising God. And, and we can see why, because... This is, I think, one of his 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 greatest desires was to bring that tabernacle to Jerusalem. Yeah. And and uh, so, but he had to do it God's way. And uh, yeah, took his, his stick to itiveness. The you know his his absolute conviction. I mean, his he worked hard to make himself conform to the scripture. Amen. And you know uh, he put on. Yeah, it's a lot of work to do all that dancing and those. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's a hard. That's a hard. And it, it is a foolish thing. Right. 
you know, and we don't want to look stupid. You know, right. Nobody wants to look stupid. Right. Um, so, you know, but he didn't care. He, he did it deliberately to, you know, not that he was showing off, but he no. was showing the Lord what he, he was do. Exactly right. He was, he was deflecting that glory to God. And, uh, you know, he was, right. didn't care what anybody, what anybody thought about it. That's right. Yeah. You know, just let, let, let all men be liars. God tells the truth. God I'm tells gonna, I'm going to serve him Amen. no matter what. And, you know, gosh, I can use some of that. Amen. You know, I think, uh, you know, that the world can need some of that coming out of the church. Amen. They need to see that. Amen. Amen. So I agree. Uh, I just love that passage and, and the encouragement that it gives to you. And uh, I like that last line. And all the people said, Amen and Amen. praise the Lord. You know, just mm, uh, that's so, such a sweet thing. So uh, I hope uh, all of you enjoyed it as much as me and Brother Dave did because uh, I was uh, excited to, to read that for you tonight. <coughs> all right. So uh, something about the fellowship of God's people gathered together uh, that can bring praise. And, and, you know, being praising God and, and having a heart of thanksgiving rubs off on people. It can be contagious. Uh, you know, the, the good attitudes, the good hearts, the, the seeking after God's will. So uh, as we uh, kind of move into the month of, uh, of, of Thanksgiving, the month of November, um, I, here's my challenge to myself is uh, to be more sensitive to the movement and the work of the Lord. And so we can... We, Hopefully we'll, we'll praise and sing and give and gather together and proclaim the wonderful works of the Lord. When we come together on Sunday morning, you know, we're, we're here to praise him. We're here to, to worship him, to, uh, to lift up his name. And uh, that can be a contagious, uh, uh, infectious attitude. And so uh, have a heart of thanksgiving. All right. Any other comment? For me. All right. All right. All right. So, uh, Miss Diana sent me uh, the prayer requests uh, that have come in this week or in the last week or so. And so, let me share those with you and then see if we have any others. Brother Dave is monitoring the feed. So, uh, if you have a prayer request and, and you don't mind putting it on the Facebook, he will be glad to take that off for you. We did receive a, a request from Jenny Freeburn. Uh, Miss Jenny uh, used to be a member here. She's moved to Pennsylvania to be closer to her family, but we still have a connection with her. Um, so she writes, a friend and his wife lost a pregnancy. And uh, this couple are Christians, so they have hoped to meet this child one day. And, uh, and I know that they will. For now, though, uh, their grief is deep. So ask prayers for, for this friend, this family that Jenny knows. Also, uh, she asks uh, prayers for her son, Rick. He's, he's having surgery on his neck. By now, he's had that surgery. I hope he's doing well. I haven't heard anything uh, otherwise, but keep praying for him. He's been suffering for a few years with pain. So we are believing for peace for him and his wife and success for the surgery. So thank you for that. Uh, remember Brother Cliff Stewart. Uh, our friend Brother Cliff, I was able to talk to Brother Cliff this week. I don't know if he's on the uh, on the feed or not, but uh, uh, he is. He's not really uh, recovering as much as he uh, as he thought he might. Uh, but uh, he, he sounded good. But he's he's uh, he said he runs uh, out of steam really quick, and he's on 100% oxygen. So uh, so pray for Brother Cliff and Miss Sharon. I think she's uh, is doing okay, but pray for her. Uh, request from Robin Murphy. Her mother is visiting here from uh, South Carolina. Developed cellulitis in her foot and her ankle. Uh, I think she's better now. I talked to Robin over the weekend, uh, but uh, she was in a lot of pain. So uh, hopefully that uh, she responds to the medication. Did you lose something? Okay. Oh, I, we got another one. No worries. <laughs> I I can help you out. Uh, pray for Diana, our friend Diana. Uh, Diana helps me a lot. Uh, she's an administrative uh, assistant to me, so she, she helps me a tremendous amount. She's also leading the, uh, the choir, and uh, 
she asks for prayers for her health. Uh, she's in, she has a lot of pain uh, and nausea. Um, she doesn't have surgery until December 28th, so it's be after Christmas. So she's got a long ways to go, really. So pray for her and John and John as he takes care of her. Uh, she also asked for several required members who uh, were not feeling well, uh, so pray for them as well. Uh, her request from Helen Burdett for cousin Eric's wife uh, is to have a hip replacement on Monday. I hope that surgery went well, and also for their great grandson, uh, born five weeks early, and as of uh, this writing, was still in the hospital. And also, she says, pray for grandchildren who are having a hard time about school. So pray for those requests. Uh, we have a friend uh, by the name of Nancy Wells, uh, another person that used to uh, live in this area. She lives uh, down towards the Eastern Shore now, but uh, she asked for prayers for her daughter, Stacy. So pray for Stacy, and I believe also her cousin, Ed. Um, so God knows those needs. Uh, I have a, a pastor friend from Nicaragua, Pastor Leonel Espinosa. Uh, who needs to have kidney surgery and I heard from uh, the person he interfaces with here in the United States uh, so pray for Pastor Leonel Espinosa at Ray to Race Church in Palacaguina, Nicaragua. Uh, pray for Richard Combs. Uh, Miss Sunday I saw her today uh, he has a, a kind of a melanoma under his eye so uh, he's going to have to have that uh, treated also, I would just say happy anniversary to Richard and, and Sonny. Uh, today was their anniversary, and I think she said 30 years ago, and I was privileged to do that wedding, to perform that wedding. So, man, time flies. <laughs> so uh, pray for the Cones. We're thankful for them. Uh, our friends in uh, Florida, Stacy and Mike Goodson, uh, lost a baby here uh, in utero uh, just today. Uh, in fact, the, uh, the baby will be stillborn here maybe tonight. Uh, so uh, pray for Stacy and Mike. And Debbie's co-worker Karen Kidd uh, is waiting on results from uh, nuclear stress test. Um, so uh, pray for Karen there. Uh, she did get to go to work today, but uh, I know she covets your prayers. Let's think about your dad, uh, Brother Dave. Uh, remember Dave's dad as he uh, uh, goes through a, a real difficult season health-wise. So uh, pray for healing and grace for him. And thinking about Nathan as well for healing uh, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Pray for Nathan's. Mm -hmm. um, just God would lay a hand of blessing on him and that he would, uh, that he would see his need. And uh, it's been my prayer for many, many years. Uh, pray for uh, Miss Betty Bishop, uh, and she's being cared for by uh, her daughters, Mary and Wendy, for the family there. So pray for pray for them, and, and uh, it's a very difficult, difficult place. All right, that's all I had. Is there any prayer requests? Now we have a uh, comment online from okay. uh, Denise Bittinger. She uh, offers a praise for her stepfather, Doug has had his bone marrow transplant and is doing as expected. Uh, however, he's coming down with a cold uh, and the hospital staff is watching him. So we need to remember him in prayer as well. Amen. All right. Thank you, Mr. Denise. All right. Anything else? You have anything else, Brother Dave? Not at this time. All right. Very good. All right, well, let's go to the Lord in prayer. I'm thankful for Dave's presence Amen. and each one of you all uh, that have joined us. Heavenly Father, we uh, we come with a heart of thanksgiving and praise. I, I just thank you for this psalm that we read tonight from First Chronicles, uh, the life of David as he was so re rejoicing to, to bring uh, that tabernacle, your tabernacle, back to Jerusalem. And is a, a project that was uh, just... It started with tragedy, but uh, Dave kept, David kept plugging and, and, and he kept researching. And, and uh, in this particular psalm, uh, uh, you know, you're, you're, you blessed him and, and uh, as he, he rejoiced and, and gave uh, psalms of thanks and singing and offerings and, and testimonies about how good you are. And Father, we resonate with that. We know, Lord, uh, 
Uh, we, we need to comply to you, to conform to you, that our thoughts would be your thoughts, our ways would be your ways. And Father, that we could give you glory and look for ways that you're moving in our lives and we could give our testimony as to, as to your grace and blessings. Lord, thank you for Dave and his presence here tonight. Just encourage me a lot. Father, I pray for all those that mentioned for prayer tonight. Thank you for Jenny sending in these requests. We pray for this couple that she knows that lost a pregnancy. So I can't imagine the pain associated with that, Father. And I just pray that you would cover them with your grace. And even though their grief is deep, they have hope because of Jesus uh, to meet this child in glory. Uh, Father, I pray for them. I pray for uh, uh, Rick, Jenny's son. And I pray that the surgery went well and that his pain is relieved and help him as he recovers from surgery. And as I was thinking uh, about surgery, Lord, I thought of one uh, that's coming up next week. Brother Ed Main will be having shoulder surgery on Monday. So bless Ed and bless uh, Tanja. And uh, we know that Tanja is caring for her mother, Rose, there at their home. So I just pray for the Main family, Lord. Just continue to bless him. Bless our brother Cliff Stewart. Uh, Father, I just pray that uh, his, he's going to go to a pulmonologist this week. And I pray that they can give him uh, a way to... Uh, uh, to move to healing. And Lord, I just uh, pray for your hand of blessing to be on him. So bless Brother Cliff, bless him and Sharon, and, and just pour out your grace upon them. Uh, Father, for Robin's mother uh, who's visiting, Lord, I pray that you'll continue to heal her from the cellulitis and, and just restore her and, uh, and bless her as she visits with her family. And Lord, I pray for Miss Diana, whom we love. Uh, uh, she's such a, 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 an awesome servant here and I know that she's uh, struggling and she's been in a lot of pain and she has nausea. And Father, I just pray for, for you to lay your hand of healing and blessing upon her, Lord. I pray that you would give her space to recover. Mm -hmm. Father, that you would shelter her, that you would mm -hmm. just build a hedge of protection around her, Lord, and, and remove that pain from her. And I know that she's scheduled to have surgery, but I pray, Lord, that you would... Uh, mm -hmm. that you would uh, just ease uh, that time until that time comes, and, and I pray for its effectiveness. And Father, we know that for your glory, you could remove it all, and, and I pray for that. And, and I, appreciate, uh, I pray uh, for John as he cares for, for uh, Diana and bless them. Bless the choir uh, as we uh, prepare for the cantata. I'm so excited about that. We have new choir members, some young people, and it's just an exciting time to be in the choir. Uh, bless that. Uh, uh, that uh, message there that it would be something that we would share with joy. Uh, remember Helen's uh, cousin, Eric's wife, uh, who was to have hip replacement this past Monday, Lord, and I pray that the surgery was effective and that she came through it well. And I pray for their great-grandson uh, who was prematurely born, Lord, and I pray that, uh, that you'll just uh, recover him and, and, and heal anything that might need healing and that he'd be returned to his family well. Pray for their grandchildren, Lord, who we know that they struggle at times, Lord, and we just pray for your hand of blessing upon those grandchildren. Pray for Nancy Wells, his daughter, Stacy, Lord, you know her need. And uh, Father, I pray for uh, your hand of blessing and healing uh, be placed upon Stacy and then her cousin Ed as well, and bless there in that situation. Father, bless uh, my friend, uh, Pastor Leonel Espinosa in Nicaragua. Uh, what a great servant of yours, Lord, and, and uh, I know he's in pain with his kidneys, Lord, and I just pray for your hand of provision and grace, Father, that, uh, that you would bless uh, those that are caring for him, that it would be effective, that he could return to uh, his, uh, his church uh, soon, and uh, bless his wife and, and their children and the church there uh, uh, in uh, Pala Coquina. Nicaragua. And Father, for Brother Richard Combs, who has this melanoma, Lord, for, I pray that you just lay your hand upon that and just remove that for him and bless the doctors as they carry him for him. Thank you for Richard and Sonny and their anniversary and so glad that you brought them together and thankful for their family. Uh, Father, my heart goes out to Stacy and, and Mike uh, Goodson there in Florida who lost, a, lost their baby recently and uh, now they're going to have to go through the process of, of, uh, of bringing forth a stillborn child. And Father, I just, uh, I'm thankful for their faith. They know where this child is and they, they trust in your grace. Uh, 
But Lord, I just pray you you come near to them and shelter them and and uh, encourage them as only you can and bring people around them to to uh, to let them know that they're loved. Bring uh, bless Karen as she waits on results from nuclear stress test. Father, I pray that all is well for Brother Dave's dad, what a great servant of yours, Lord. And uh, I just pray for your your healing hand and for your grace to be placed upon him, Lord, and for your glory, Lord, would you just remove that from him? Would you just would you just heal him uh, and, and restore him, Lord, uh, in these days? Uh, give those that in the medical community that he's communicating with, uh, give them wisdom and knowledge to help him. Father, for Nathan, my heart goes out to Nathan. He needs you, Lord. Uh, I just pray that, that somehow in this process, his heart would be turned to you, uh, I know that in some ways he's, uh, you know, he's, he's hard in his heart. And, but Father, I know that we never give up. We never give in. And, and we'll always pray for Nathan as long as we have breath, Lord. And then we pray for, for his deliverance. Father, for Miss Betty, we love her so much. We know that uh, she's making some recovery, but uh, she's at home there in Wendy and Rob's home. And we just pray for for her, for those that are caring for her. It's such a very difficult position and there's a lot of weariness there. Mm-hmm. And uh, Father, I just pray that, that you would give them supernatural strength and that you would that you would breathe your restoration into them and they would be revived. And uh, Lord, uh, I pray that there would be moments of, of just uh, of joy as they fellowship and, uh, and some, mm-hmm. some times of rest for that dear family. Lord, I'm thankful uh, Denise's uh, uh, stepfather, Doug, uh, is doing well uh, from the bone marrow. Bless him and protect him from this cold, Lord, and restore him. Uh, Father, uh, I don't know what else to do, but say thank you. I praise your holy name. We're grateful for your presence in our lives. Thank you for this time that we can worship together uh, here and on Facebook, Lord. And we just, we praise you and and, and we, uh, we lift up your name uh, for you alone are worthy of being praised and, and honored and glorified. Thank you, Lord, for Amen. loving us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, yes, Brother God. Dave. Thanks for being here. Love you so much. All right. We're going to close. I have an extra copy of this song right there on the back page. Dave knows this song, too. It's called In the Sweet By and By. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar, for the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. We shall sing on that beautiful shore. The melodious songs of the blessed, and our spirit shall sorrow no more. Not a sigh for the blessing of rest. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. Amen. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Brother Dave. God bless you guys and hope to see you on Sunday. Take care.